Okay, let's check out the setup. You have a Mega Drive here, a Model 1, Japanese, with a EverDrive plugged in. The EverDrive hooked up to the PC so I can transfer files. On the back here we have the EXT port that was only in the original models. Uh, the EXT port um, is actually exactly the same as the <clears throat> front two player one and player two ports. Um, so technically these old models uh, theoretically could be three player if you uh, code in support for this third port. But any of these three ports can also be put into serial mode which is what we're going to be using here to communicate between an external device and the Mega Drive, uh, eventually to do things like basic debugging. Um, <clears throat> here we have the transfer and receive and ground pins hooked up to the Arduino. I'll knock off Arduino, but it works. Um, and the Arduino is hooked up to the PC, essentially making it a glorified uh, serial RS-232 to USB converter. Um, I was originally using this um, with an FTDI chipset, and it worked, uh, but I was getting all sorts of bad data, so, you know, I'm not really sure why. Um, but that's a project for another day, to make something a little more, uh, streamlined. But for now, this works, the Arduino works. Over here, we have the assembly code for the Mega Drive, and a window to monitor the output, um, from the serial. Uh, well the serial to USB converter from the Arduino. So over here we have the EverDrive running. Let's send our code to the Mega Drive. Alright. It's running. That's good. Now is time to the 68,000 hard on fire. Beautiful. And over here Arduino is receiving data. Neat. I like it. <laughs>